After three years, I noticed this handsome man at work. When I'm in a relationship, I tend not to even look at anyone this way. But I finally had a moment to stop and think about my family and my happiness. For three years, I was being controlled, manipulated, lied to, and brainwashed. It was nice at first, the honeymoon stage had me so lost in him that I just disregarded everything. Then I started to catch on. At first, it was him calling his ex psychotic and an elephant. We ran into her on one of our first dates at the bowling alley. She was two lanes over and definitely hurt to see him with me. He, on the other hand, was angry and wanted to leave after I had just paid $31 for Galactic Night. We stayed, because I said, no. He told me to block a page list of people, whom he was still friends with. Again, I was lost in the honeymoon feelings. I found out after I posted about us on Facebook, he actually had his FB open while he scrolled through and there was the option to block his friends from everything I tagged him in. We weren't even relationship official on FB. Wouldn't have been a big deal but to have me block these people. Anything I would eat, I was judged for. Anything. I bought a steak and he would cook it for himself. I was left to eat something else that he wouldn't eat. We wouldn't leave my room when I lived at home. He pissed in bottles and ended up ruining my favorite pair of jeans because he washed his hands over my laundry basket. Again, I was consumed in these strange feelings. He was my first everything. When we would leave to go out with my family, he ruined every single event. Either complaining about wanting to go home, if we don't leave right now, I'll just call an Uber. No, I'm not going on that slide. I just ate. You ate a half hour ago, we won't get another chance, no, I'll leave you. Complained about every single thing. It's too hot. There's too many people. I want to go. He constantly thought everyone was talking about him. My family of course, did not like him, but they were respectful. He was not. Still, I was caught up in him. I started working in the beauty department and when I would put on makeup for the first year, he would make comments as if I was cheating on him and trying to look good for someone else. Mind you, he would receive text messages at 11 pm at night. Would hide his phone from me, bring it everywhere he went, yet I was so open with mine and he would get mad if I did that. He would like and comment on other women's pictures and I would never get a compliment. He went to my brother's wedding, wanted to leave, wouldn't dance with me, kept threatening to call an Uber, threatening to leave me and go to the hotel by himself. Turns out he was disgusted and hated my brother because he's gay. We moved in, I thought maybe this is what we needed. He would make me pay rent and he wouldn't, he ruined another birthday for me, my 21st. He threatened to kill my brother and told me he had a disease, this was when I finally put two and two together. This was when our relationship started failing. One last try, I got us a cat. Nika. I thought because of his anxiety, she would help him. Help us. But him hurting something else I loved and is mine, finally opened my eyes. He would terrorize her. Stomp around this fist-sized kitten just because she wanted to crawl around him and love him. She liked cuddling in bed, he kicked her off. That was it. I finally started to hit him back with words of me threatening to leave. It shocked him. I went to work one day, thinking about Nika and hoping she was still in her cage and safe. This beautiful man who had started working with us a few months prior came up and asked me for help finding an item. I helped him, not thinking of him in any way, my mind was still in how I was going to get us out. It was like God gave me a sign, and mind you, I'm not a true believer. He came up to me a few minutes later and asked for more help. When we locked eyes, it was as if my entire life made sense. I was starving myself because a psychopath made me feel worthless and fat. I felt so gross and unlikable and antisocial and was made to feel like every single girl was out to get my man because this person thought it would be nice to make me feel like I could lose them to everyone. When I got home, I was finally smiling. Butterflies in my stomach. That song I was listening to in bed, Starving by Haley Steinfeld, was about this beautiful man. When my ex asked me when we were in bed if I cheated on him, and I laughed and said no. 
His reply was, I don't believe you. That was it. That was the push. I never cheated. Would never cheat. Never even crossed my mind. But the thought of me being happy one day, the thought that had me smiling, had him think I was cheating. I couldn't be happy with him. Looking at everything around me and what I could have if I went home, finally made sense. He was only bringing me down with him. Nothing was going to change. I just would have killed myself eventually with how depressed I was. We were constantly fighting over nothing. I would have plans with my mom or my grandma and I was automatically assumed to be with someone else. My brother and his husband came to comfort me in the middle of the night. They stayed outside of the house the entire night just in case I needed a way out. I should have left then. I had my mom and my brother's help with getting my stuff out so I wasn't alone or convinced to stay. That beautiful man, who I talked to as soon as I moved back home and ended that toxic toxic relationship, I found to be my soulmate. I was constantly trying and trying but nothing had changed. I gave him that chance to change things too many times. The promises he made the day I left were the ones I heard over and over again and were broken so many times. I'm now moved in with the love of my life, happier than ever. Although, I still have PTSD and am constantly feeling depressed. But he understands and does everything he can to help me and he never puts me down. He understands why I have trust issues and he always, always, puts them to rest. He loves me. He respects me. And slowly but surely, I am getting back to my regular self. Sorry for the long life story. But I also need to get that out. I hope that someone just realizes sooner than I did.